Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Um, for our panel, we have Susan Jarbo, Karen Downey in Colorado, who's joining us, and Reverend Linda Burdett, and I'm Kathy Cronin, and I will lead today's discussion. So before we do that, let's just open and take a moment to get centered and be prayerful and thankful for this time together. So and if it helps to close your eyes, to be able to close the distraction around you out, um, feel free to do that. Take some deep breaths that allows triggers to your body and to your mind and to your soul that this is a time to get centered, to be at peace, to find and go within the truth and the wisdom that spirit brings to us. And with this, I say, thank you, God, for the opportunity to be able to share our thoughts and the wisdom that we know is being guided through spirit that is being brought to us that we can share with others to inspire each other to live our lives to our fullest purpose. We are grateful, God, for your many blessings, and we ask for your peace within ourselves and in the world. Amen. So my topic today is about giving thanks from a higher perspective. Um, and it's very appropriate for Thanksgiving. And this was written, um, this came from the Unity booklet, um, which was about um, Turn on the Light and was the Timeless Works of Eric Butterworth. But this article was really the Daily Word from August 1977. And so I'm going to read what they wrote in this to help us appreciate when Thanksgiving, we celebrate Thanksgiving to appreciate it more deeply. So, <laughs> excuse me for a moment. <clears throat> Thanksgiving normally centers on things to give thanks for. However, a deeper and seldom considered meaning of Thanksgiving concerns what you have to give thanks from. It deals with the level of consciousness that enables you to see things from the highest possible perspective. This is what Thanksgiving is, a view from the top. It is the contemplation of the changing, challenging things, experiences, and persons from the highest possible point of view. In any challenging situation, it is good to get some altitude in your thinking. Take a time of quiet meditation to view the whole experience from the highest point of view. And I'm going to repeat that because it's very key to this. It says, take a time of quiet meditation to view the whole experience from the highest point of view. You will see things and people and experiences in a completely new way. You will see beyond the appearances to the underlying reality. You will see through the human to the inherent divinity. And by seeing it and relating to it, you will tend to call it forth. One of the most important aspects of this higher perspective is an appreciation of the ability to appreciate. Give thanks for all the many blessings of your life. But do not stop there. Get the view from the top so that you can give thanks from the perspective that sees the overall goodness of God. This will establish you to the greatness of mind that will unfailingly attract to you great things. I was drawn to this writing because I so often and every day give thanks. I'm always doing my attitude of gratitude and being thankful for this, but I'm doing it at the surface level and not at that higher perspective level that this pointed out to me is that seeing that with that, there is a lot of other goodness that is being brought into my life rather than just thank you, God, for this and thank you, God, for that. And I'm going about this. And, you know, it's just seeing that why is this in my life today? Why was this brought to me? You know, I'm thankful and grateful for my many blessings. However, 
why and where and from that higher perspective standing on that mountaintop if anybody's ever walked to the top of a mountain and looked out and i'm sure karen being in colorado has some awesome views but when you can look out and see all the landscape around you and all that's involved with it i think it just gives me a whole different aspect and so now times when i just sort of sit and meditate and that's why i repeated that part is Take it from that higher point. See this person that you may be thankful. See why they're in your life. See what are the gifts that they bring to you. Or see what the situation is. Is that if you get an answer to resolve a problem, see why that came into your life. What purpose was there in that? What you learned from it and what you can take away from it. And I also feel that taking that deeper and higher perspective, like it says, you attract more of those good things into your life because you see the whole dynamics. Get a 360 degree view of the world around you and that which is interacting in you. So I want to share this and open this up to the panel to anything that they want to share their thoughts on this higher perspective of thanks. Who would like to go next? Well, I will definitely go. Um, one of the things that you said, and I wrote it down because it was a real aha moment for me, is an appreciation of the ability to appreciate. What what a powerful statement that really that really hit home for me. Um, thank you, and and I'm just going to definitely add that to my list of gratitude. I know that when I'm doing my prayers of gratitude by rote, I'm saying the right things and I'm calling forth, you know, more good in my life by being grateful for what I have. But when I step outside and try and look at the top of the maple tree that's in my front yard and I can't, and all the leaves and all the green and all the beauty and just soak that in and say thank you from that place. It's so much different than waking up and saying this is the day the Lord hath made, which is powerful in itself, but really being in that gratitude when I'm um, grateful for this home. It's, you know, yay, finally, we've got a home. I'm so happy. But when I'm sitting here, last night, we had a surprise thunderstorm. So we went and sat out on the porch and watched the lightning and hail started coming down. That was usually the time we might be sitting in front of the TV. But no, we were sitting in our own home on our front porch watching this wonderful rain nourish the land and being grateful from there is so much more powerful. One of our Thanksgiving traditions is to go around the table and talk about what you're grateful for. And the, the tradition is if you don't tear up, that isn't what you're grateful for. Really feel it and share it from that place of gratitude. And it really adds to our time together, being able to share my blessings. So thank you for the topic. I have so much to be grateful for. And uh, that's all I got. Well, thank you, Reverend Linda. So Susan? Well, what I got out of it was um, I was thinking about spontaneity versus standard prayers because it's like I have a list in my head of all of my blessings that I'm thankful for. But Linda's reference to a tree or a thunderstorm, to me, that's another way to express gratitude as things come into your life during your regular day. New things, spontaneous gratitude. And um, I've done a little of that, but I'm going to do more of it. 
uh, to be, it's, it's like being more aware, looking at things more deeply, as you said. And so uh, I just think there's room, plenty of room for spontaneous gratitude. Thank you for the topic of Thanksgiving. And I and I'm not I'm not thinking at all about that sitting down at the dinner table and everybody eating. <laughs> um before we started today, I've been reflecting on I'm alive. And I know Linda remembers very much my accident four years ago. It is I chuckle at it. But but I reflect on it, and I reflect on what I looked like, and it's a it's a miracle. And I've had four miracles of just plain being alive, and it's like, dang, I guess I'm still here. I I, I must not be done. And um, I have to say, I'm thankful for getting back to Pueblo. I mean, I'm saying that kind of in a Because it's where I'm supposed to be. And everything opened up as far as a place to live that's the perfect place for my cats. And on a, on a regular basis, I know God brought Angel into my life. And then God brought Luna into Angel's life. Because I'm not a real responsible pet owner. You know, I, I'm not the average, let's go out and walk the dog. I'm kind of lazy. <laughs> but now they can take care of themselves. And the energy that they have with love radiates to me and heals me on, on a daily, nightly basis. And... um I, I think I'm thankful that my kids all live here, grandkids, great-grandkids. Um, we don't, like, hang out together <laughs> like Linda, um, but but they're there. And, um, and that's a good thing. And we're all really healthy. I mean, it's like there's a lot of people. And everybody's healthy, and I'm healthy, and and meditating isn't my gift for my monkey mind, but taking pictures is. And I can go out and walk. I don't look out because I'm I I haven't gone up to the mountains, Kathy, <laughs> since I've been here, really. Um, but the clouds and the clouds speak to my soul because they're always changing and especially those dark ones. And there's been a lot that just, you know, there they are, but then there's that little peep of blue letting me know all is well. And, and I don't, I don't have to know. And, and I don't even think I pray really. I mean, I just know that I'm 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 grateful. Um and maybe if I'm not like in that conscious whatever, I, I do know the parking god, or maybe the parking god knows me. I've never asked for a parking place, but I'm telling you, I can pull in to a conference with three thousand people and the spot just there it is. And and then it's like, thanks God. It's like I don't believe that just happened. <laughs> it's like that didn't really happen, did it? And so the divine is letting me me know there really isn't anything I have to ask for. Uh, I I'm grateful. I'm still alive, and um, Thanksgiving will be coming, huh? And thank God. My son and daughter-in-law, those are the ones that like to cook now and do that stuff because I hate cooking. So they haven't minded that position and they don't mind messes. And so we'll see what happens next. Any 
anyway, that's Thanksgiving. Thank you, Karen and Susan and Reverend Linda for your input and your thoughts. Does anybody have anything else they want to add that, to this? I just have a quick message for Karen. Um, when you mentioned clouds, I love clouds. And we have had in our winters in recent years, these things they call atmospheric rivers and the clouds that are associated with them. I mean, I can be driving along and I'll, I just remark on their beauty. And I think that's another example of something spontaneous. Yes, nice topic. Thank you, Susan. So I will be closing for us. I appreciate everyone that has joined us today. And hopefully as you reach and sit down for your Thanksgiving, however it may be spent, um, may you look at it from the higher perspective, the blessings of whether you're joined with families or you're on your own, that this is a day that's set aside to see the highest good in everything that's around you and to be thankful. And however you spend your Thanksgiving, may it be very blessed and may you find the joy and the beauty and the gratefulness of how this day and this time in your life is unfolding. So with that, I'm just going to close with a very short prayer. It's like, dear God, we know that you are always looking out for us, that you are sending to us that which we need. Maybe not what we want when we want it, but what we need is always provided to us. And we're thankful for those gifts. We're thankful for those times. And we're thankful for the people that share their lives with us. And with this, we say, Amen. So have a blessed day. And if you want to join our group, please reach out to the church. Uh, following this segment, there is a, a tape on how you um, you know, can contact us. We love, uh, Karen has now joined our panel and um, we're so grateful for that. We're, we're also so grateful for your feedback. We love hearing, you know, what messages we're putting out there that are inspiring people. And if you if you're not a subscriber already, please join and become one of our subscribers so you get that notification when something new is posted um, and you can stay on top of it. You can always look for us on YouTube and uh, under certain topics and find us. So we're we're here to serve as God's purpose for us. So we and you're here listening to us because that's God's purpose of getting the message to you. So however we serve each other is God's intentions. So, and this is what we are grateful for. So have a blessed day. Bye, everybody. Thank you for joining us and let's stay connected and grow in spirit. We are on Facebook, search for Unity Church of El Cajon and follow us and like our posts. You can reach us on YouTube at Unity Church of El Cajon. Please subscribe to our channel, watch our videos, and leave comments, which can help us improve. We are on the web at unityofelcajon.org. Email or call our church office to receive our weekly newsletters, which lists all of our activities and opportunities to learn and grow together.